Assalamu alaikum you guys welcome back welcome back to another in-depth review Xiaomi Mi 9 today finally I reviewed the Mi 4, Mi 5, Mi 6 and right now I, I've skipped the Mi 8 I have to admit that I skipped the Mi 8 and just I was super busy but we got the Mi 9 I'm, I'm, I think I'm grateful I skipped the Mi 8 because I'm right now just blown away from the Mi 6 to the Mi 9 it's just insane it's just insane so 8 best selling points of the Mi 9 are immediately I'm gonna tell you uh, before that uh, make sure to support my channel I have to say that at the beginning of beginning always uh, because uh, this is how I'm able to do these reviews uh, these uh, hardcore reviews for you ninjas uh, if you are gonna help me then help me in that way that you're gonna shop with my links so I can get some small percentage from your uh, purchase ninjas that's the best way to do it just shop online give us on Banggood in the in the description are the links maybe now or later whenever you decide side so let's move it on let's move on yes one of the best designs here this is the holographic glass uh, design Sony 48 megapixel image sensor ninjas one of the top level photo scores on the DxO world premiere of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 of course next to the Lenovo Z5 Pro uh, GT and the Samsung S10 all new ultra wide angle lens this is the first flagship from Xiaomi with the ultra wide angle lens ninjas sapphire glass camera cover it seems that it's kind of a hybrid sapphire glass just have so they called it sapphire glass they just they didn't call it sapphire so remember that i think jerry rig already proved that it is scratchable but uh, of course more tougher to scratch it than the uh, rest of the smartphone samsung amoled display in just 19.7 screen to body ratio 20 watt wireless fast charging so it has amazing amazing features regarding the battery uh, battery itself and improved in sync uh, in screen fingerprint sensor 25 percent faster unlock speed so these are the eight major top selling points of the Mi 9. So let's move immediately to the body design itself. 7.6 millimeter thin. It is one of the thinnest flagships on the market right now and it's super light, 173 grams, 19.5 uh, with nine aspect ratio. Uh, remember it have a few different colors but this one which I have is the blue one and it's just amazing man amazing and it's for, for the one hand users it's gonna be really difficult to use in one hand so you will have to basically maybe enable the small display you know you can enable with the Xiaomi smart was with the new eye you can just downsize the whole display to like four inches or five inches it depends screen yes let's talk about the screen one of the best things about the, about it it is the screen itself here so many great things about it to say about it so it is a massive it is a massive screen 6.39 inches samsung amoled full screen display resolution is 2340 with 1080 full hd plus 403 ppi screen density brightness goes up to 600 nuts so luxes so it is very a very bright screen here high contrast ratio 60,000 with one they just color gamut and TSC 103.8% standard mode sunshine mode 2.0 night mode cold temperature adjustment and 256 rank, uh, ranks adjustable reading mode remember that for the protection there is as we, we did had with the OnePlus 60 the Corning Gorilla Glass 6 anti oil and anti fingerprint protective coating plus it does this is a super it does supports HDR display mode basically it does supports the videos in YouTube which do have HDR in enabled of course they are more richer colors they just pop up so again you just love the screen it is one of the best things about this uh, smartphone this Samsung AMOLED side by side with the uh, Samsung smartphones like Samsung S8 or S9 uh, example S9 is very similar S10 is still really expensive for $900 and this one is $600 so we're comparing it with the S9 plus example anyway let's move on to the processor yes again for me the best the best second thing on Again, for the gamers, this is gonna probably be the best thing about the smartphone, but for me, the best second thing, it is the Snapdragon 855, the new king in the jungle here. The Antutu score is 375, around above 370,000. Maybe later on with the optimization, they can get it maybe 380,000. Octa-core processor clocked at 2.84, 64-bit system with Adreno 640 GPU. This is the best GPU in Android world, Ninjas. Six gigs of RAM or eight gigs of RAM LPDDR4 uh, 4x RAM type uh, of course we have 64 128 gigs of storage UFS storage 2.1 lack of SD card, SD card support unfortunately there is no SD card support 
No, 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 no. Anyway, LED notification bar is included. Fingerprint sensor, accelerometer, compass, gyroscope, hole, light proximity sensor, step counter. So all the main sensors are included with the Mi 9. 4G LTE support. So remember, get yourself a global one if you live in USA. The Chinese version is usable in, U uh, in EU, uh, UK, Asia. So you don't have to get buy yourself the global one if you live in EU. Only in USA, in just a global version of the Mi 9 will have uh, those USA LTE bands. Dual SIM acceptable, dual band, Wi-Fi direct, Wi-Fi display, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth 5.0, dual GPS, Beidou, Galileo, GLONASS, GPS, uh, OTG, OTA enabled. Firstly, there's no audio jack and also, which is interesting, there's no radio FM. There's no radio FM, which I'm going to show you later on. NFC support, uh, tethering, Volti support, IR blaster and DLNA ingest. So many, many great features are packed in this flagship from the Xiaomi. RAM management also is really good, but I have to say that they need to optimize it. Uh, I've opened 15 apps and I think that one was closed. It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen, Ninja. So 95% RAM management works really good, but again, they will have to polish more of this software. The UI skin itself is really fast. I don't see, feel some stutters after the updates. So this is good. Okay, just it's time to do the audio review of the Xiaomi Mi 9. Let's begin with the speaker, maximum volume, YouTube. So I'm giving it from 1 to 10, I'm giving it uh, 8 and a half ninjas. Why? Because there's a stereo speaker missing there for the price tag of $600. This is a really bummer why they didn't include it. I don't know, will the OnePlus 7 include it? OnePlus 60 didn't have it. Uh, and some other flagship smartphones didn't have it also for this price tag from China. But nevertheless, clean sound, best is there, quality is there, 8.5 ninjas. 8.5 score. Okay, checking the headphones. Very loud, man. Ho <laughs> ho! Giving it 9 ninjas. Great deep bass, I have to uh, say, and rich, very, very rich sound here. I'm using cheap, cheap headphones. Uh, so, unfortunately, the downside, there is no 3.5 mm headphone jack. You need to use the adapter included in the box. But nine score for the headphone output volume, bro. Okay, recorded something with the mic. Let's check here the default mic, uh, basically mic recorder, voice recorder. One, two, one, two. This is the microphone check. Xiaomi Mi 9 HD quality. Xiaomi Mi 9, my mouth is 40 centimeters away. One, two, one, two. This is the mic, mic, chest, 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 tech, tech, no, check, test, test, uh, a few centimeters away. Check it out, check it out. Woohoo! Okay, not bad, not bad, Ninjas. I am using this mode I will just show you right now, which is recording type HD mode. HD mode, voice move the mic closer to the source of the sound for better quality. I can even check the voice recorder. Let's check this one. One two one two one two one two. My mouth is few centimeters away. Check 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 check. Okay, let's check this one. One two one two one two one two. My mouth is few centimeters away. Check 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 check. Okay. Not bad, not bad, Ninjas. I have to say that uh, uh, needs optimization regarding the noise cancellation a little bit. I do have a really kind of a sound which you can, even this mic quality mic can catch from my camera. Uh, my laptop is just rendering something, so it's super, super heavy sound. But uh, it, this one has a noise cancella cancellation microphone, so I, it should be better, man. It should uh, isolate the noise and kill the background noise more, bro, more deep there. So I hope they're going to improve that in the future. Anyway, unfortunately, it seems that there is no FM radio support, Ninjas. At least there's no FM radio app here with the stock uh, apps. Unfortunately, no, no, no. There is a screen recorder, me remote for the IR blaster, and the scanner, bro. Scanner, bro. 
Shame, shame, bro. Okay, shame. so let's go with the camera. I'm gonna uh, provide so many different samples in this in the review because the camera it is one of the best selling points of the book uh, of the uh, Xiaomi Mi 9. In my opinion, it is the best camera uh, smartphone from the Xiaomi currently. Uh, we have three sensors, three cameras on the back. The main one is the Sony 48 megapixel primary camera, Sony IMX 586 sensor, a sensor with aperture of f1.7 and 0.8 micro micrometer. Supports HD video. Supports 4K supports 60 FPS 4K. The secondary sensor it is 12 megapixel telephoto camera with aperture of f2.2 supports macro photography and 60 megapixel ultra wide angle lens aperture of f2.2 supports obviously the wide angle photography for those beautiful beautiful shots of you know landscapes or something like that. 2x optical zoom and or 10x digital zoom. It has focus, laser focus, and phase detection focus plus contrast detection focus. Uh, video resolution like I said here up to 4K and photo resolution is 8,000 with 6,000 pixels. Uh, the front camera is also really good, the 20 megapixel front camera, aperture of f2.0, front camera photography features like front camera HDR, front camera display brightness correction, selfie timer, face recognition, magic mirror, and age recognition, which I honestly don't, I only use the magic mirror bro for me, plus the face recognition is really good. So uh, uh, front camera, the maximum that we can get it is the 1080p, re uh, recording 30 fps, so this is the task for the Xiaomi N1 Plus in 2020, inshallah they will have to uh, bump it up like the Samsung can do the UHD man they have to add or at least 2k add 2k there bro uh, higher higher frame rate man come on add it higher frame rate in almost two and a half years they still include only 1080p with the front selfie cameras so Ninjas, what I love about it that there is a G cam which is not properly working 100% but you're gonna get amazing shots uh, at the night uh, what I love uh, of course, I'm gonna mention later on the EIS is really good, but there are some jitters because of the optimization itself. And since this smartphone is super new, they will need to fix that. Uh, the mic quality is also really good, but somehow, sometimes, uh, and I feel that it could and it should be higher, louder, in my opinion, bro. The noise cancellation works good. It does work good there. Uh, for the price tag, some smartphones do, do it better. But again, like I repeat again, we have to rely on OTA updates. Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back. Check it out, check it out, my ninjas, man. Since I'm in handicap, I broke my hand. There are ninjas from Zensa. Anyway, this is the camera review of the Xiaomi Mi 9. And make sure to watch it till the end because we're gonna show you many different footage. Okay, ninjas, so this is the selfie camera test, full HD video sample, Xiaomi Mi 9, a handheld. So yes, handheld. Firstly, we're gonna show you 360. Judge by yourself the exposure and dynamic range. <laughs> Crazy. Whoa! Check these graphics, man. <coughs> oh my god. Beautiful, beautiful. Check it, check it, bro. Crazy. Whoa! Form up on me! Whoa! It's time to test the in-display fingerprint sensor, of course, the optic one, and also we're gonna test the face ID. So let's begin immediately with this uh, with this uh, uh, in-display fingerprint sensor. Check it out, ninjas. Fast indeed, fast indeed, ninjas. Close to the one plus sixty. Uh, Close to the OnePlus 6T, but not faster. In my opinion, it's not faster, Ninjas. 
course it needs this optimization this is even still the Chinese version and just released so we will need to wait for more optimization uh, so far I'm satisfied I'm satisfied let's go with the face ID okay I set up my face so let's do it immediately one two three 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 Okay, it's fast, man. It is fast. I have to admit, it is fast. Uh, so I would advise you to use maybe Face ID before that because it does look, uh, it does uh, uh, work faster than the in display because with the in display, uh, of course, it doesn't recognize your uh, recognize your finger if you put it like that. Oh, wait a minute, it does. Just a minute. Oh, it does. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, man. That's cool. So you don't have to tap on your screen. Oh, this is good, bro. I didn't notice it. I noticed just right now. Oh, so this good. I love it, man. So uh, yeah, I would choose. I would choose the fit in display, man, because with the face ID, I have to. Or you can just use the race and wake up uh, in order to, of course, even from the pocket or from the table. So satisfied. Satisfied. Good job, Xiaomi. Okay, ninjas, the battery life here. So 3,300 mAh battery inside of this beast. Uh, I can't praise this battery too much, ninjas. Uh, I mean, the screen on time, average use, moderate use is around 7 hours. Uh, um, uh, gaming, example, Fortnite, it did drain it a lot since, since this is a very powerful processor and I played Fortnite on 60 FPS mode. I got around 3 hours screen on time. For 100% 100, 100 to 0, you can get around 3 hours playing games like Fortnite at 60 FPS. It might be that the Fortnite is not optimized but hey ho anyway 27 watts fast charging support 20 watts wireless charging support quick charge 4.0 support so it is what is good about it and i have to praise it it is the time it's it takes less than an hour and a half to charge it fully which is really impressive now ninjas that's really really impressive so again it is a pro and a, and a kind of an average result regarding the battery life but again for the battery charging in just half hour you can get a full day of use uh, uh, without the gaming obviously anyway without gaming so yes uh, Mi Mix 3 unfortunately May 20 or fortunately do have better battery life in my opinion I tested so far those smartphones do have a battery life than this one but this one it is super thin and just it is super thin unfortunately it seems that they couldn't put fit something thicker bigger and uh, of course a bigger capacity battery they couldn't do it bro again that's it what do you get if you are satisfied you are satisfied Ninja, so conclusions uh, for the end, uh, we're gonna just number these pros and the cons uh, just quickly for you. Uh, cons, let's mention the cons, bugs, some apps are not functioning properly like IMDB example, one of the apps which I basically use in my speed test, I noticed it, uh, but this is probably only with the CN version. Uh, what I noticed and everybody, of course the gamers, hardcore gamers will notice this has a very bad battery life for now Ninjas. Check it out, check these results, hear me, hear me bro, uh, two and a half hours for PUBG Ninja. Just only two and a half hour screen on time on maximum graphics. Fortnite maximum graphics, oh no, the HD 60 FPS mode, three hours maximum. Just so this is one of the worst or probably the worst battery life that any flagship got in the past three years, in my opinion. Just at least that I tested. Video recording has jitters, small stutters. Probably EIS needs to be optimized more. Advertise advertisements ads with the Chinese version. Overheating with the heavy gaming. I got 44 Celsius. In just 44, 45. So it does overheat as the OnePlus 6 and OnePlus 6T. Lack of SD, SD card support will be a con. Lack of 3.5 millimeter headphone jack will be also a con since Samsung phones still have headphone jack. So I don't know why OnePlus and Xiaomi decided to ditch the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I don't get it, Ninjas. And also, this smartphone is not waterproof. $600 is not anymore a budget flagship, Ninjas. $600 right now. Some people can even probably get the Samsung S9 Plus, which is also a really good device maybe not fast or like this one or beautiful like the Mi 9 and it doesn't have the, uh, the Snapdragon 855 but uh, Samsung S9 Plus uh, does have uh, the waterproof feature and amazing solid build with the great great, great screen also Samsung S9 Plus also has can can go easily on pair with the camera performance with the Mi 9 just mentioning the, the Samsung there I'm not here sponsored by the Samsung I'm just mentioning the Samsung is selling here for right now for six six hundred dollars Pros, design one of the best looking phones on the market, easily can beat Samsung S8 and S9, holographic glass body, super fast processor, Snapdragon 855, UI is milky smooth for now, 4G LTE bands, dual GPS, NFC support and IR blaster included, great AMOLED display, one of the best camera for the price, remember this is the first Xiaomi flagship phone with the ultra wide camera lens. 
good speaker, super fast charging under one hour and a half plus 20 watts wireless fast charging. LED notification bar is included and in display fingerprint sensor and face ID are reliable and fast. So again, many, many good things about it. More, of course, more pros than the cons. It's obvious there. With the cons which I mentioned, some of them are fixable with the OT, with the future optimization, inshallah. So if you decide to buy the Xiaomi Mi 9, then use my promo links below to purchase it. If not, I'm gonna leave you also some alternative flagships which you can buy. OnePlus 16, Xiaomi Mi Mix 3, they are still one of really, really great devices, ninjas. Uh, anyway, have a beautiful day, night, morning, wherever you are. Make sure to share my reviews. Ma salama, peace. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicky chicky ching 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 China. That is the gearbest.com and banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!